In today's AI YouTube video, we'll be using the brand new AI chatbot Open Assistant and comparing it to ChatGPT to determine which chatbot is better. So let's get right into it. Open Assistant is a brand new chatbot that just released about two weeks ago. I really think this is going to start like an LLM revolution and could be the start of something huge as it's completely open source compared to something like ChatGPT, which is not open source. I think having technology like this be open sourced is massive for the growth of AI and I'm so excited to see where open assistant is going to progress and that's what we're going to do today we're going to test what its starting point is currently at the platform is completely free to sign up and start using and you can do it on your browser or you can do it locally I'll have the github link down below in the description if you want to do that and you have a more powerful PC but we're just going to be doing it on the browser to create an account you just need an email or a discord account i did it through discord because for whatever reason my email was being kind of buggy and the first thing i noticed when opening up the dashboard is how user friendly it looks everything looks really clean and something i noticed is this leaderboard which showcases the users that are earning the most amount of score based off the amount of prompts they're putting in the replies and the labels as this chatbot is constantly learning from the responses of the people using it so rewarding people through a leaderboard like this I think is very smart. It encourages more users to use the platform and provide feedback when the bot is doing a good or a bad job. So enough of that, let's create a chat and start chatting with an assistant and then we'll compare those to chat GPT. So starting off, I'm going to ask it a simple question like how is your day going? Now before I ask it, I did want to note that I'm just going to be on the reset model. However, if you did want to change those, you can go to set settings and you can change that preset to whatever you choose. I'm just on K50 as it's the original preset one and I don't want to change any of that up. So as you can see the first question how is your day going we have some pretty similar answers. After you receive your answer from open assistant it's really cool that you can actually get the breakdown of what was provided to you although I am not smart enough to know any of these settings I'm sure there are smart people out there that can use it to their advantage and like like I said, this entire platform is open source, so you know that there's going to be some smart developers who are going to create some really cool stuff. So obviously, how is your day going is a very simple prompt. Let's do something a little more experienced that I know ChatGPT would be able to handle, but what about Open Assistant? Alrighty, so we have a lot more complicated of a task for Open Assistant. This time I'm asking it, create me a chart of the top 25 countries based on size, but exclude countries from North America. And we're gonna ask ChatGPT the exact same thing. And as you guys can see, we have varying answers. ChatGPT gave us the chart that we were looking for, for countries based on size. However, Open Assistant kind of gave us like a smart ass answer saying, unfortunately, this cannot be accurately done as the question did not specify what constitutes size and I guess that is correct and it was also saying that these charts are going to change over time so I'm going to tell open assistant I meant size by land area we'll see what it has to say about that so like I said ChatGPT is going to be a lot more advanced than open assistant and here is that being shown in real time so it states in order for others to learn teach me what you already know about this topic to improve future responses and then it asks are you interested only in traditional independent countries or would you like colonial possessions counted too and i'm just going to say traditional only and as you can see it prompted out a list of the top 10 countries by landmass however it was not perfect it didn't remember that we originally asked to remove any countries from north america and as you guys can see canada and the united states are still on our list and it also didn't put it into a chart so I just asked it to put it into a chart and it has done that by adding some titles along with these lines, albeit not as good looking of a chart as chat GPTs. I do also like the fact that it's sourcing where it's actually getting its data from. Instead, on the other hand, where chat GPT basically just states that this is based on the sources, but doesn't actually give the direct source. Alrighty, the next test we're going to have is can it do any coding problems that we know chat GPT can do? 
do. So we're going to ask it to create us a simple HTML page that has our name on it. Alrighty, now I'm going to copy this over to ChatGPT and we're going to see what we get. And as you guys can see, they actually gave us varying code, whereas ChatGPT has it nice and structured, whereas Open Assistant kind of just pasted it out and it also used different code within their web page. Whereas Open Assistant has this last section, which I'm not even 100% if it works. If anyone's a coder in the comments, let me know. But I do know on the right side, ChatGPT's web page would absolutely work. And I also enjoy that it explains what the code does. So we're going to ask Open Assistant, what does this code do? All right. So it's telling us the website is going to do and what the code does to make that website function. So it just requires a lot more input into Open Assistant. I'm just now realizing that they had a dark mode on this website. I am so sorry to all the viewers blinding you. Alrighty, last question for the video. I'm going to ask the assistant knows a famous YouTuber and what his latest video is and let's see what it gives us. <laughs> Definitely not correct already. It's stating that FaZe Rug is a popular YouTuber known for playing the video game Fortnite and for anyone who knows FaZe Rug that is just not true at all. However, it did state that his latest video was in February 2023. Fortnite secrets finally revealed. So maybe that's why it thinks that Baze Rug is a Fortnite YouTuber because it just picked up on information from his latest video. Albeit that's not even his latest video because it was in February and I can guarantee if I went to Faze Rug's YouTube channel right now, he's posted way more videos since then. Whereas ChatGPT explains who Faze Rug is but then states how they're an AI language model that just doesn't have real time information. So once again, ChatGPT is much smarter than Open Assistant and I think that's going to carry through the more I test out this program. However, and this is a big however, the reason I'm so bullish on Open Assistant is because of the fact that it's open source and I think you guys should be too. I don't know if ChatGPT will ever be open sourced and if Sam Altman from OpenAI will ever consider that, but imagine if it was the amount of opportunities there to build your business to do amazing things would be unreal, but we can only hope. And for the meantime, we have Open Assistant and this is only going to get better like the day you're watching this video is the worst day for open assistant it is going to keep on learning and growing so i'm very excited to see the future of this program that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like on it it really helps it out in the algorithm and also consider subscribing if you like ai related content that's gonna do it for me see you later this ai tool is going to blow your mind you ever have a million dollar app idea that you've always wanted to create but you didn't have the time nor the money or programming skills to make it? Well, now you can. There's a brand new AI platform called the Magica that allows you to create any mobile app in a matter of minutes. All you have to do is describe to the AI the kind of app you're interested in making and it will use real-time data along with AI technology to create the app of your dreams.